All right, Mr. D, let's talk a little bit about permethrin. Permethrin, mm -hmm. uh, it's a synthetic pyrethroid, been around since 1973. Oh. And uh, it, is, uh, it mimics uh, the chemicals that, the naturally occurring chemicals that, that derive from chrysanthemums, mm -hmm. uh, pyrethrin, mm -hmm. which is a very toxic insecticide that's developed from, from mums. Um, but uh, there are a lot of uh, synthetic pyrethroids out there. Permethrin is the one that I'm mentioning here, but there's also cypermethrin. Yeah. There's alpha cypermethrin. And, you know, there's a lot of synthetic pyrethroids out there. They are also non selective. Uh, they will kill about anything you mm. put on them. And so it's very important that you uh, kind of know what your beneficials are and try to avoid using Good them point. to avoid mm -hmm. taking out your beneficial right. insects. Good point. But, uh, uh, very, very widely used pesticide. And I'm sure it attacks the nervous system like the rest of your insects. Right, it, it is part. also a, a, a acetylcholase inhibitor. It was, when they first used it, when permethrin was first developed, it was primarily used for, for humans to control scabies oh. and lice. Nix, huh. the, uh, the, uh, uh, the product that would you have head lice, you know, oh. that you, NIX, that you use to take uh, is, is commonly recommended. Uh, hunters use permethrin to, to uh, spray on their clothes and boots oh. and things like that to kill ticks. Okay. And uh, chiggers, chiggers also okay. keep chiggers yeah, yeah. from attacking them. Yeah. But in 1973, it's, okay, I said it's been around since 1973, but permethrin made the list of the World Health Organization's, it's considered a list of essential medicines. Wow. An insecticide that uh, the essential, World Health right. Organization considers an essential medicine wow. because of all the insect pests that, you know, carry, you know, life-threatening diseases uh, all over the world. Insects will develop resistance to, to permethrin also. It's, it's a product, my first uh, 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 contact with permethrin was in insecticidal ear tags. Flea collars. Oh, okay. And uh, I used to, I did some work in the beef industry with insecticidal ear tags. I'd ride around and use binoculars and count horn, uh, flies on cows, and okay. and uh, uh, it was really good for a while. But after a few years, the, the the flies developed a resistance to it, and so they start using different products and mix it up a little bit. And that's it's important to do that. Uh, if you go to the Red Book. Mm -hmm. and uh, UT's Red Book and look at the ins different insecticides that are, are listed, many times you'll see a carbamate and yeah. then, a, and then a, a pyrethroid and sometimes an organophosphate mm -hmm. for the same insect. Mix them up, mix you, know. Up. Yeah. you know, it means you got to have three products on the shelf, but mix them up a little bit and, and that will help you not run into a, an insect resistance problem. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.